Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV. Now I'm here at IBC with Mohammed Al Haj of GolfSat. Now Mohammed, tell me a little bit more about GolfSat and exactly the type of services you offer. Well, uh, first it's my pleasure to have such an interview uh, with Sat TV. Uh, GolfSat started in 1995 and we started as a, a VSAT license uh, through Kuwait government. Uh, the first five years started mainly on the focusing of the data, of satellite uh, data transmission, and slowly we moved to the voice uh, uh, surfaces. Uh, we started uh, on the TV business uh, about uh, six years ago, uh, and I believe today GelSat have a converged platform where we're delivering voice data and video, uh, video surfaces over international uh, MPLS node which is owned by GelSat. So I think today uh, we have a mix of multiple uh, industries and uh, engineering behind to deliver such services. And you've obviously grown, but you've been going through a recent period of expansion. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, in terms of expansion, I believe we have uh, uh, three arena we moved to. First of all, we start to re change, not a change the brand, but we create a sub-brand where we, f we have a more focus on something called G-Talk on the voice business. We create a brand called G-Link, which is on the satellite connectivity links. And we have a, a brand now we call G-Cast, focusing on the TV broadcast business. Uh, mainly, uh, we see the revolution uh, heavily on the video transmission and the video broadcast services, especially in the MENA region. We have a playout, new playout services. We expand our capacity for satellite coverage capacities on the MENA region on the 7 and 8 west degree. Now, talk a little bit more about DTH. DTH services are in demand. What do you see happening in the Middle East and North Africa region? Well, I, I believe today uh, the in-demand and the, oh, mainly the interactivity with the TV uh, satellite services, basically I believe that it's time now where everybody think of the OTT services and the convergence platform where delivering the, the TV is not only through satellite. There, there are many methods such as mobile TV, internet TV and so on where most of the operators become looking for a hybrid solution to offer it to their clients on the TV uh, station themselves. So GelSat, I believe we took such initiative right now and we have the capabilities behind because we already built a GelSat cloud uh, services uh, linking around uh, nine multiple uh, MPLS nodes around the world carrying content as a CDN platform. Uh, and uh, today we have five operations of five uh, facilities around the globe uh, to broadcast multiple transponders. So I think we slowly we move to the, uh, to the direction we, to deliver a converged platform uh, a, a, an IP uh, uh, sophisticated networks where we could uh, deliver you know, a high definition TV uh, channel. Now you're a member of the Arab States Broadcasting Union. How important yep. is that? I think uh, ASPO uh, is a very important uh, uh, organization for the MENA region and especially to manage and organize and at least putting some kind of rules and regulation policies especially there is a lot of things which is happening in terms of contents, copyrights, in terms of uh, uh, overlapping of the frequency jamming and uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 things related to the interference issues. Where uh, our, uh, we are as a GulfSat, we are a member, we, are, uh, we have a kind of uh, uh, regular meetings with ASPOs and we always coordinate for, uh, you know, uh, driving the business uh, with them in that, you know, in that uh, manner. So, going forward, how do you see the future for GulfSat? Well, it's uh, with such uh, revolve in the technologies, I believe GelSat, uh, uh, we will be more into, uh, uh, I, I can see more into cloud or delivering services of TV or whatever service we have under our umbrella in a different method. Uh, 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 satellites could be one aspect. Uh, we establish now a lot of fiber networks uh, which we want, we want to have another media to reach to the clients and 
Gulfsat also has a subsidiary of uh, another subsidiary, the a sister company called Gulfnet, where they are more into the ground infrastructure. And I think now we have a kind of a synergy. We expanding the you know the business together, and uh, that's that's I think the 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 the, the vision what we have is to explore it more and more in the converged platform. Now we're at IBC, and there's going to be a lot of talk about 4K Ultra HD. Is that something that's going to affect GolfSat? Not really. Uh, uh, we know there is a lot of revolution from the last mile, from the end viewership uh, in terms of home uh, appliance and TV, you know, uh, the latest technologies which is revolved on that side. Um, I think uh, uh, Ultra HD, uh, it's coming and that's, it's, it's, it's more business to, to GolfSat I don't think this is something will threat Galsa because our our main core business is selling capacities and this kind of you know enhancement in the picture clarity required more capacity, which is again it's a, it's it's a business to Galsa where we see it again. Mohammed, thank yes. you very much. Most welcome. Thank you very much.